Elizabeth Ann, I love you. I am so excited to give these vows to you. But not only do I want to give vows to you, but I would love to give vows to our parents as well. So dad, mom, I vow to be the godly man you raised me to be, and to show Elizabeth the love and respect that you have exemplified in your marriage. And to Mr. and Mrs. Schmidt, I vow to lead, protect, and provide for your daughter as you have done throughout her life. Gregory, from the day I met you, I knew there was something special about you. Since that day, you have consistently showed Christ and strived to be more like him every day. You always pointed me to, you always point me to Christ, pointed, um, <laughs> in our relationship and in my personal walk with him. I will never forget the amount of work that went into the first time you told me you loved me. You always think about every detail and never cease to amaze me when you plan date days or nights in. While long distance was not easy, you made it so worth it and I am so excited to start our lives together. With this ring, I ask you to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish you for all my years. With this ring, I ask you to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, and to love and cherish you for all my years. As Greg and Elizabeth have exchanged promises and rings, pledged their continuing love and faithfulness to each other in the holy bonds of wedlock, and have witnessed this before God and all of their friends today, it is my true honor to pronounce them husband and wife what God has joined together, let no man separate. Well, Greg, you may now kiss your bride. I'm so proud of you, what you've done. And you're growing up, you were always one that included everybody and didn't, even if you didn't know their name, you, you wanted them to come over and, and have fun. And uh, I just encourage you to continue that spirit that you have um, and continue to love God and just grow. I love you, Greg. Love you, Liz. <laughs> I've been dreading this day ever since I've learned that I was going to have to give a speech. <laughs> so, you see, I can't stand up in front of people and give a great speech off the cuff. I can't write great papers in under 10 minutes. I can't walk into a room and make each person feel special. I can't patiently repeat myself over and over and over again, talking to people on an ambulance while they're being unreasonable. But you, my dear Elizabeth Ann, can do all these things and more with ease. The couple things that I can say that I've done is include watching you selflessly give of your time to others and take others under your wing to teach them to grow and succeed in whatever they are doing. Greg, I've not known you for long, but I've enjoyed getting to know you and can see how special you are. I've seen you be patient and act with care in all that you do. I've seen you listen and really hear what Elizabeth has saying when something is bothering her. 
You listen to her and ask if she's looking for you to fix the problem or just listen and see what needs to be done. I've seen you be more humble than I could ever be and care more about how she feels and what's going to help rather than who's right or wrong. I know she says she hates surprises, but I love seeing, hearing about, and occasionally being a part of all the special plans you make for her anyway. I will always be around if you need help with those more. <laughs> Elizabeth, we've had some great years growing up and working together, and I wouldn't change it for the world. I'm going to miss you, but I'm even more excited to see the plans that God has in store for both of you. <laughs> PJ, I know you're not mine to give, but Greg, I'm giving her to you. I know you know she's special, but I have to say it anyway. She's not got one, but two departments and countless people backing her up trying to steal her back, so don't ever let her go. We love you guys, and welcome to the family. really really fun to get to see like a really fun side of Greg he was not ashamed of who he was at all we were tourists and he still had globs of sunscreen all over his face and arms um, he was not getting sunburnt um, yeah I just got to see a really cool side of Greg that I hadn't got to see before he was fun he was super caring he was interested he was thinking more and more like a mature adult and um, just a young man and it was really cool to see that side of him. He's always been strong-willed but I think I saw him take that from just kind of being independent and, and do what he wants to I'm becoming a better man. I'm um, becoming something really really good and I really fiercely care about the people around me um, and my family. Um, Liz I know I know he will love you so fiercely. Um, I know that he's going to continue to grow and he's gonna continue being more and more incredible. So I'm super excited for you to get to be with the man he is now. Um, and I'm super excited to see how he grows and how you get to be with him then. Um, Greg, I, I love you a lot. Um, we love you. This is for you, man. <laughs> love you, dude. <laughs> we gotta get the shot real quick. <laughs> We're gonna just keep going. <laughs> yeah. Tell us when to stop. Yeah. <laughs> ready? Go ahead, baby. Ready? <laughs> What if I just threw you in? I promise to respect your authority and decisions and will continue to choose to love you every day we are together. Thank you for choosing me to be your forever. I love you. I vow to you my heart. I love you. I love you more. And I will always love you most. <laughs> 